Open Ear is fundamentally a, a simple enough idea. Uh, we choose a selection of Irish artists and musicians, many of whom are on the fringes of the mainstream. We bring them to a beautiful little island off the west coast of Cork to showcase their music to whomever wants to make that trip along with us. It's not an original idea, we're just trying to put our own special twist on it. We're trying to offer something to Irish musicians and an Irish audience that isn't anywhere else. In some ways, Open Ear exists because of a chance happening. An adventure to Shirkin Island that was washed out by unusually strong rains resulted with myself and some friends shoring up with Mike and Cathy O'Connor, who own Shirkin North Shore. Late night chats ventured here and there, and what started off as a hosting of a smaller indoor party somehow became a fully realised festival in the summertime. Did we know what we were doing the first year? Maybe we did, maybe we didn't. It's hard to tell now. At the time, something seemed to click. Unlike my first trip to Shirkin, this was a perfect storm. A simple idea was brought to life and things just fell into place. 300 people landed down onto the island, drenched in sun for the whole weekend. Everyone we'd asked to play had had jumped at the opportunity. And by the Monday morning, instead of being frazzled and burnt out, there was a sense of excitement that this was just the start of something. I'm Juno Cheeto and I'm uh, my band is Flowers at Night. I grew up here, I was here until I was in my mid-twenties and then I've been moving back and forth ever since. I think people feel a bit freer just because of the fact it's on an island. It's that separation from reality. People, I think people have a bit more relaxed and chilled out and you don't have that heavy security presence you do at most festivals where you feel like you're being monitored or watched all the time. The curation of, of the, the timeline of the, of the night is, is really smart in how it's put together I think and it's very much about people loving music and uh, not really things that are, that are too materialistic it seems. It seems it's more about concentrating on music to me. Like the, 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 the first night we arrived down, the Friday night, uh, the very first festival, we ended up sitting on the verge of the cliff looking at a sunset while listening to awesome music and it was like, Jesus. Yeah, the right? setting it's, is a huge it's part of it, isn't massively. it? Unlike a lot of festivals, it isn't our goal to make open ear bigger and bigger every year. As much as the festival continues to evolve, it's still based on the same simple idea as from the beginning. More recently, the residents have been kind enough to let us start exploring the island for new and unique spaces to present the music. Not only is this an amazing way to bring the island and festival closer together, it also allowed us to book artists who wouldn't be suited to a traditional festival setting. We're more likely to move sideways or at weird, awkward angles. That's how open air is going to evolve. Shirkin is the sort of place that you tell people, oh, you have to go there. When realistically, no matter how much you go on about it, they are just nodding along with you and saying, yeah, OK, just to shut you up. But we've actually managed to get everyone to visit and all at the same time. It takes a huge amount of effort and commitment to make your way to the bottom of West Cork for a weekend. And yet it still astounds us how devoted our crowd has come. We don't have big marquee names to sell to people. We just hope they'll have a bit of faith in us with the music while they create their own adventures, stories and memories over the course of the weekend. When we look around, walk around, chat and hang out with people, we realise how lucky we are to have them. <laughs> 